recording so let's make a new simulation new empty simulation okay let's add the planet um, minor world very tiny 2.5 kilometer piece of rock um, name it new sun sun let's um, <coughs> let's uh, increase the mass let's grow the mass uh, sorry let's grow the radius which will also grow the mass so let's double the mass so the mass let's look at it as a moon a fraction of the moon um, so let's try doubling it again um, and then doubling it S so it's gaining mass okay it's slowly getting rounder so now it's at 40 kilometers okay now it's round at 80 kilometers now let's um, uh, increase the scale of time so it, you see it actually move now let's add material uh, now the material we're gonna add is okay let's start with the easy iron okay make sure that the um, the spread is much smaller um, and let's try um, much slower that way it doesn't destroy the planet Okay, oops, multiply meters. Okay, uh, 0.1 meters per second. So let's see, I'm putting a bit of iron. Oops, did I just blow it up? Hmm, looks like I, um, I may, uh, I think I uh, did damaged it. Let's, okay, that happens. Let's increase it again. So let's try it. Oh, I got I, I blew it up. Yeah. So yeah, a lot a little iron goes a long way. <laughs> Silicate. Let's see what happens if I blow it. Uh, do I accidentally? Okay, I blew it up again. Uh, okay, so let's double it again. Um, let's uh, let's reduce the amount of silicate to the amount that it won't. Okay, so I'm using right mouse button to shoot the bottom. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, let's see. Like, okay, let's assume we did that and it gained a lot of mass. So now that it's gotten bigger, ooh, a lot of silicate. Let's try a lot of water. Okay, so I missed. So let's try. Uh okay, so it looks like I'm missing some of the water. The water's not landing on the planet. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's let's um, reduce the spread. the objects per second um, let's do it one tenth let's see oh, it's not increasing by much the mass is not increasing by much uh, faster if I just oh there This no, this is not the water I'm putting. Interesting. So, um, tools, materials. So I will try to add more uh, hydrogen. 
but large amounts of it. Um, first, I'll just increase its mass by two times again, two times, and um, see if the particles are being created. So I'll try to have um, oceans one ocean worth of what of hydrogen oh shoot wow that was fast moon oh yeah so wow so what's this composition now oh a lot of some iron some silicate some water and hydrogen overview um surface uh, still rotation speed not much distance surface gravity ooh one point in distance you found it. pull uh, okay so it looks like it's slowly gaining mass ooh shoot yeah they just increase the mass yep so um, yeah I'm increasing the mass by a lot so what are the temp what are the what are the stats so the temperature is still cold see as we increase mass whoa so when it get cold uh, okay so I'm gonna turn around give it space so this is an atmospheric cover as I add more mass slowly half an ocean's worth of mass let's just make it one one earth ocean worth of mass and yeah it's slowly gaining okay let's let's shift it to moon's worth of mass okay moon's worth of mass oh yeah hydrogen so average temperature is still pretty cold surface gravity is increasing so this is like a dwarf gas giant sorry a dwarf giant dwarf gas uh, a gas dwarf so ooh, meters per second no it's reaching earth mass oh surface gravity is already at one earth and it's still tiny its mass is so is it because of the density oh shit the density is really high Oh, because I have a solid core. Let's go to composition. Uh, I think I uh, have a little bit more iron than a typical star. So, yeah. Oops. Anyway, it could be like... It was a, um, yeah, it wouldn't be normal. would be normal. So, what happens is let's start adding more hydrogen. So, let's get it to Earth. Why is it my oh my density is not oops my density is okay yeah I think it's so this is moon's worth of um, moon's worth of hydrogen so two moons worth of hydrogen so as the um, as it grows so now it's a it's now a, a three earths masses and yeah um you see these flashes so wow average temperature is still pretty low so yeah that if it was accumulating that this is the i'm shortcutting what would be billions of years um so yeah i'm at X Earth masses, it's unlocked. Uh, I'm just adding more mass. Why is the gra density not going down? Did I lock the density? Oh yeah, it's already yeah, it's pretty good density already. It's a, a, a gas giant density already. So let's go from this to Earth. Uh, yeah, Earth. 
So it's 24 Earth, so it's like already past Jupiter, uh, uh, Neptune, and Uranus levels. As we hit, hit 100, we'll be at Saturn levels of, oh yeah, so there were Jupiter levels of mass. So that's Jupiter's 300 mass, 300 Earth's mass. So already uh, the radius is in measured in Earth's. So you could already look at it in Jupiter radius. So it's slowly getting there. And as we hit Jupiter levels, oh, the average temperature is still pretty low. We're not yet generating heat. Oh, okay, we got into that radius. So yeah, let's let's go at Jupiter fractions of mass. So we are at one Jupiter and slowly accumulating mass at Okay, two Jupiters. So it'll take a while for us to get the sun, so it's usually at around forty to fifty Jupiters worth of mass. Um, so uh, what you call this so these are the most common types of stars the brown dwarf um, so let's speed this up let's make it 0.10 so fractions of Jupiters to 1.5 Jupiter oh, okay wow we're already at 22 Jupiters we are at something that's generating heat Ooh, and light. Radius, 3.3 Jupiters. Let's see. Um, let's look at the habitable zone. No habitable zone yet. So it's just a brown dwarf. Let's, ooh, okay, let's add a bit more Jupiters. Let's see when we start having a habitable zone. Whoa, okay, a young star that's very violent. <laughs> um, yeah, oh shoot, there. There's your habitable zone. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm using the formulas here and the Wikipedia to, for this. So, like, you have this new sun, and the. Uh, is there a luminosity? Oh, there it is, 0 0.03. Sol lum luminosity, so that determines the um, this and um, what you call this. Let's see. Uh, let's place another object here. This young star. So let's place. An, so this is how many? Eighty-two Jupiters. Wow. Okay, it sucked one of those stray. Oh, it's sucking one of the stray. Um, one of the stray silicates that I made. But uh, you know, didn't light up. So let's try uh, placing a planet here. So um, okay, let's try another one from the very s from scratch. Let's assume that there is this is a um, circumstellar disk. It's slowly aggregating and uh, becoming a, a planet. And notice that the habitable zone is up to around 0.376 AU to around 1.4 AU so bam okay um oh yeah okay um okay so uh okay another part I'll just break it up to another part too okay uh, so this is how you how we start making a, a planet and um, this is how we're making a, a, a star and now we're making a solar system from scratch okay 